Thank you. While we're waiting a few minutes here, we, I encourage the floor leader to go to statements. I'm hoping that you and your family are, are anticipating time together. But I want to take a moment out of today's session and recognize my colleagues and their staff for the work throughout this year and throughout this term. We've had a long couple of weeks of session. It's been frustrating at times, it dragged on at times, and in my opinion, it's one of the lamest lame ducks ever. And while we work through the remainder of the day, I want to take a minute to recognize a few individuals who stood out this year for me, and I can't recognize all of you for all the things because we've done some really fine work. First, Senator Mike Knopf. Thank you for your leadership on the energy reform. You have devoted years of your life and your time in Lansing to reforming and improving energy policy in Michigan. Your hard work and willingness to bring all sides of the issue together resulted in the passage of bipartisan package out of the Senate, and very shortly we'll have a bipartisan package that will be in front of us. Senator Jeff Hansen has devoted countless hours to helping reform our state's largest school district to ensure that 47,000 students in the city of Detroit have options for a better education. Sir Hansen, thank you for your willingness to work across the aisle and for your commitment to a comprehensive solution for students and parents of DPS. Senator Prose, thank you for all your work to reform our correction system. I know this is life passion of yours. I know we are not able to move forward on all your ideas, but I'm committed to working with you to see the progress in the new year. I know you are committed to a common sense change that improves our communities and the lives of those affected by our correction system. Senator Hildebrand. I want to thank you for continuing to be working on that tradition of passing balanced budgets ahead of schedule. You are diligent, conscientious, a thoughtful steward of taxpayer resources. Thank you for leading us through appropriations process and for protecting the interests of Michigan taxpayers. I also want to recognize Senator Jim Thomas for chairing the Joint Committee on Flint Water Public Health Emergency, something of which we didn't anticipate. You're willing to take on the daunting task of reviewing the circumstances of the emergency in Flint and have worked to promote solutions for the community and the families who are still affected by the water crisis. The Senate joined together in a bipartisan manner to send resources to the residents of Flint and to pass policy that should help that community into the future. Of course, I can't mention Flint without recognizing the tireless efforts of my friend, Senator Germanic. On behalf of his hometown and his neighbors, one of the bright spots of my time so far has been, as majority leader, has been working with a minority leader who is willing to listen and reach consensus. As minority leader, it would be easy to tell me no all the time, but Senator Ananik is not satisfied to simply be the opposition. He wants to find solutions, and I respect his willingness to work together. And I wish I had time and all the words to recognize each one of you, and we might be here until next year, and I know nobody wants that. All of you work tirelessly on behalf of your constituents, and while we don't always agree on all the issues, we maintain respect and decorum in this chamber. You are, and each one of you are my friend and my colleague, and I respect your commitment to your office, your constituents, and the people of this state. I am proud how often we come together as a chamber in support of our colleagues and staff in times of need. In particular, I want to thank everyone for their support of my staff member, Craig Ryan. As you know, Cancer tried to attack Craig Ryan, and he kicked Cancer's butt. <laughs> and I know I didn't get to tell each one of you how immensely proud I was that we rallied around him and his family in their time of need. It's a testament to Craig and the person that he is. It's also a testament to the friendship and caring we have for one another and the people with which we, with which we work. And I'm, I, I don't want to leave without mentioning our friend and my friend, Senator Morris Hood. Senator Hood is recuperating, a, recuperating at home and doing quite well. If you're watching, Mo, how you doing? All right. Everybody wave to Mo. It's going to be on there. Right. Our thoughts and prayers are with you, Senator Hood, and your family over this holiday season. We hope to see you back here very soon. We have tackled many issues over this past year and in this term, and we still have more to consider. With a list of issues to continue to work on, including auto no fault, legacy costs, corrections reform, and more, it's been a productive year, and I have the same expectations for 2017. I want to thank Jeff Cobb and the session staff for all their diligent work working through the computer system starts as we had uh, fits and starts with that, the sergeants who 
uh, are our friends and also our protectors. We thank you for the work that you're doing. And thank you all for your willingness to serve the citizens of Michigan. Thank you for your willingness to work together. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and a wonderful holiday season. Please enjoy the time with your families and come back refreshed and ready to continue our hard work on behalf of our constituents. Thank you. I wish my comments would be part in the, in the journal. <clears throat>